is called the frog system because of kind of what it looks like. You look like a frog going up the rope. Um, it's the most popular system worldwide and uh, most popular among rope access technicians. Um, we're using a chest ascender to, uh, to, to make our progress, or to capture our progress, I should say. Um, so let's see what this looks like. Um, just like before with a, a descender, I'm gonna set everything up, test it out, sit into it, figure out where my throw is gonna be. So here, that's about right. My cow's tail limits me. Um, so what I can do is to kind of simulate the frog, I'm gonna put both feet in like a frog and I'm gonna use both hands to grab onto this. Um, and as I come up, in theory, like I should be able to glide this chest ascender through the rope. But you can see that when I step up, let's zoom in, as I step up, that yellow rope is like a wet noodle. It doesn't want to glide. So this really only works really well when I have enough uh, weight of the rope below me at some distance, let's say maybe 30 feet. Um, once I'm there, uh, the weight of the rope will provide enough tension in this line between these two points where I can just glide up automatically. But when I'm getting started, um, a good technique is just to take the rope, zoom down here, and just pinch it with your feet right there. This gives you a little bit of tension. And as I step up, if you look at the chest ascender with a little bit of tension, it glides up. And you look at my hands. Both hands are on the ascender. Both knees are kind of pinched together. And so when you zoom out and you look at the motion, it looks like a frog. And the frog method. Smooth glide up. More. Smooth glide up. I can make uh, minor uh, descent uh, movements just in this configuration by alternating uh, the tension. So let's zoom in um, and we'll start with we'll start with the chest. So right now I'm weighted on the chest. I'm going to transfer over to my handle to center by stepping up into it. And now I can push, can you see that? I can push on the cam and sit down and let that slide a little bit without having to release the cam. And now I'm a little bit lower than I was. I'm gonna bring this down. And as I bring this down, I can adjust my cow's tail. I can step up into it again, push on the chest ascender without actually releasing it. So I can push on that. and glide down, sit into it, and then drop this down. But now <laughs> I've gone too far with the cow style. So what's great about these adjustable lanyards is I can just step up, detention, and now I can glide this down too. Some people will have heartache about me taking this off and being suspended um, just on a sharp tooth cam on the crawl and they say, oh, that's a half point connection. Well, it's completely false. That came from the CMC manual who referenced some rope access schools. And I'll tell you being, uh, having read over and over the Spratt manual and gone through the testing, this counts as a single point of connection so long as you remain in plumb line, uh, one, and two, so long as you limit any slack in your system to one foot or less. This counts as a single point if those two conditions are met. That's the frog method.